Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, AND gates, OR gates, and NOR gates, as well as NOT statements. So each one has a specific type of logic gate and that's what we're going to be working with uh, today. So an AND gate basically tests for all um, variables to be true. So uh, for example, we have if we were to set um, time to be day and raining to also be the second variable uh, to be true, then if it would require both to be um, enabled. So it would have to be currently day and raining in order for the uh, procedure to actually do something. Now that's basically an AND gate. Um, an OR gate using the same system would require one to be either day or raining, um, not both. So that would be an OR gate. So it's testing if only one or more is true. Uh, this would be easy to have with multiple statements as well. Um, all these can be used with multiple different types of um, conditions. It can, I think it's, it might be infinite as well, so you can test over and over and over again as long as it follows the same, um, same topic, like if it's one or more, or if all of them are true, or if all are false. So using weather again as an example, and day, uh, if both are it's currently night and not raining, then it would be a NOR statement. Um, right now, I'm just going to demonstrate some of these with uh, variables. So I'm set variable A with um, to be equal to true for AND and variable B. So we're going to be using variable B, variable B and A for our examples. We'll close this and I have Minecraft already open. I just need to start up the world. Mind the ring. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have variable A up here and variable B down here. I also added an extra variable just in case I wanted to test that during the tutorial. I didn't need it though. Uh, for variable A and B, right now it's false, so it's a NOR statement. Uh, if we enable one, say variable A for example, it sets it to um, or if we disable it and enable the other one, it's still an OR statement. So that basically covers how to do an OR statement and an OR statement, but a AND statement requires all inputs to be true. So if you had more than just A and B, uh, for example C, it will still, with an OR statement, it will still require one to be false. It'll just require more than one to basically perform the task. So that's basically it summed up into a very quick video. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.